We begin with our big game on three. You voted for it and you got it. South Windsor taking on Farmington. Unqua Sonye was on that call tonight and he's here with the highlights. Unqua. Well, Joe and Mark, it was a battle of CCC rivals trying to make 2023 better than 2022. South Windsor and Farmington both coming in at two and one with a chance to make headway before their bye weeks. South Windsor, it only took them two plays because it was a big one. Logan Sherwood bursting up the middle. He gets loose and he gets gone. 55 yards to pay dirt. The extra point was good. It's seven nothing Bobcats. Same score, second quarter, third and goal from the nine. Ty Nojic burst to the goal line, willing it across, and the officials eventually agree. Touchdown over Hawks, extra point, no good. 7-6 South Windsor at half. First drive after the break for South Windsor. Stop me if you heard this before. Another big run. This time it's Mitch Chaves on the keeper, speeding past everyone for 56 yards to the house. His first of two in the quarter. Here comes Farmington working with Ja'Kai Veal in for Caden Markowitz. Injury puts him out for the year. But Veal finds O'Hara for 23 yards to the house. The Bobcats had an answer, though, and it wouldn't take long. They'll kick it deep. Goes right into Sherwood's hands at about the 19-yard line. Sherwood returns it up the middle, gets a few blocks, and he sprung at midfield. The 40, the 30, the 20, the 10. He's gone. Touchdown, South Windsor. An 81-yard return to the house. The second touchdown for Sherwood on the day. A powerful running day. The Bobcats going to win 28-12. And now fitting on National Coaches Day that it would be head coach Dave Hodge of South Windsor telling us how they turned it up after halftime. We talked about that at halftime. Then when we executed in the first half, um, things went our way. And in the second half, the kids executed. We just kept going. Only up one point in the second half. We really brought our team together, brought our family together. And we we fall hard to this second half. This season's really personal to us. Last year, one and nine. Everyone's doubting us. Four and one right now. Gonna keep that going, going to the playoffs. Gonna win everything. Well, they're not quite 4-1 yet. South Windsor has to finish its suspended game against E.L. Smith on Wednesday. Farmington now 2-2. They get a week off before they play Avon. We got a ton to get through. Mark Joe, back to you.